Hi everyone, welcome back to my creative ego. So I am continuing on with part two of these mermazing deals from Hobby Lobby. So if you haven't caught part one yet, I'll actually put that in the description box down below and I'll also put a link at the end of the video. So all of these little sparkly colors that you're seeing are actually from a set of pens that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I was just walking around and I found these on the end cap. So they are a total of four per pack and they are $2.79 per pack. And so there's actually two different types of pens. There are the Milky Pop pens and then the Sparkle Pop pens. So the Milky Pop pens, these are like an opaque color. And as you can see, you get the white, the pink, the orange, and the blue. And the next one is actually the Sparkle Pop pens. And this is the one that has all that glittery shimmer. So the first set comes with black, green, purple, and orange. And then the next set comes with blue, pink, purple, and gold. So I'm super happy that I got two purple pens because this is probably gonna be one of your favorite pens in the collection. So it also does say on the back of it that the ink looks like a different color when writing on black or white paper. Oh my gosh, these are so sparkly and cute. I should have bought one for my goddaughter. I will go back and buy her some. These are so super cute, you guys. It has little stars and little glitter on the outside of the pen. And I'm gonna stop dwelling on the cuteness. So it does say that you can use this on both white and black paper or cardstock. And as you can see, since it's an iridescent ink, it shows up differently on both of these colors. And so I guess we should take a closer look at it. And as you can tell, you know, this is just using one straight line and you can really see the difference on what it looks like on the dark and light cardstock. And so, of course, we had mermaids earlier. So what matches with mermaids? Unicorns! So if you guys are into like unicorns, I don't know, it's just really pretty. It's pretty to use, I think, as an accent for a lot of your pieces when you're doing stamping or coloring. When the light shines on this, it really does pick up all the beautiful colors and all the glittery colors on this. And then also, if you're wondering, the stamp is actually by Stampendous. It's one of my favorite stamps. The next part I want to talk about is gift giving. First one is for manga artists. So if there's anyone out there that you know that is drawing manga, loves the anime, or is just starting off. I think that this is a really cute set. So I'm not gonna open any of these sets because they are gonna be for gifts. And to be honest with you, I actually picked up three of these manga sets and two of them I've already given away. I really love the price. I love the fact that it is a whole set. It comes with everything that you need to kind of like get started. So on the manga set, so the set says it's normally $24.99 and it was reduced down to $6.24. And then it comes with 10 double tipped markers, eight colored pencils, four graphite pencils, two fine line markers, one sharpener, one manga learning guide, one blending step, 10 oil pastels, one eraser, one kneaded eraser, one manga artist pad, two manga character templates, so you can actually create your own little manga comic book. And then it also comes all in this one reusable container. So the next set is very similar to the manga set. It comes in that container and same price, $6.24. This is a 44 piece sketching set. So the affordable version of the sketching set is a 22 piece set. This is $2.49. This comes with, again, 22 pieces. This is eight graphite pencils, six sketching sticks, three woodless graphite pencils, one blending stump, one sharpener, one sanding block, one drawing eraser, and one artist sketching pad. And then the next one is actually for those who love to draw. And this particular set comes with 25 pieces. This comes with 12 colored pencils, eight compressed colored sticks, one blending stump, one sharpener, one sanding block, one kneadable eraser, and one artist pad. So for $2.49, this is gonna be so great for like stocking stuffers or actual gifts. And as you can see here, these are all four sets and all four of these sets together are actually under $20. And of course, because there are so many people on Santa's nice list, he's gonna have to save money somewhere, right? So we have scotch tape that's also on sale, three packs for $1.74. 
And Santa's little elves are gonna be everywhere wrapping gifts and they are more than likely going to lose their scissors more than once or twice. So these scissors are 47 cents, no, 42 cents. And let's see, oh, bows and ribbons. Those were also on sale as well. This was the only one that I picked up though and this was 40 cents. And I guess since I'm on a roll, we'll go ahead and continue on with some markers. So you've probably seen this set, other sets similar to this before on one of my Michaels hauls, I believe. And these are also alcohol-based inks. also had individual markers on sale as well. This is actually by Windsor and Newton. And as you can tell, there's actually two different sets here. So they have the pro marker as well as the brush marker. And these are what the different tips look like, but each marker actually has a chisel tip to it. And I also picked this up. So I am not really familiar with these. I kind of just picked them up because it said that you can use them on like plastic, canvas, cardboard. It also looks like you can use it on styrofoam. And so I was like, okay, I love gold, I love silver, and there are some projects that I actually wanna use this on, and I've never used them before. So what I thought I might do was actually get some stencils, and then I got this little box from Daiso, and you guys know that embellishment boxes are a huge thing. I have yet to make one, I haven't made one yet. So I was trying to test it out because I was looking around my craft room thinking, what could I use that's not so expensive to test these pens out on? <laughs> and I will say that it was kind of funny because I was using this pen and then I realized that there was a crack on the side. Oh, no. And it was at that point that I realized also that it actually comes with an extra nib. So if you need to change it out on the cap, it comes with an extra nib right on the side as you can see here. So you do have to prep the pen, you gotta shake it, and then you also have to kind of test it out so that the gold will also kind of like fill up the nib and then all the glitter, gold, sparkly stuff will come out. And so, yes, um, I thought that maybe I'd do that on this. I probably should have used like a leftover piece of like package, plastic package wrapping instead of putting it on here. Because as you can see, I actually put like four or five different coats on there. And no, this is not a successful project, you guys. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that it works way better on other materials like canvas and cardboard because they really emphasize that in the pictures and styrofoam. But as always, if you guys use this product quite often, please let us know in the comments down below what you use it for. Um, because like I said, I just picked this up. I picked it up on a whim, really like the colors, and I'm sure it does really, really work well on other types of surfaces and materials and textures. Yes, I will test that out on my soon to come video, um, part three that is. And thank you again also for all of you who left comments on my last video, especially like with the jewelry making. I really do rely a lot on that as well because there's so much to learn in the crafting world. So I really always appreciate you guys commenting and helping me out on my craft dilemmas as well. And so another thing that I picked up were these Sharpie markers. These were brush Sharpie markers. So this is what they look like. And these were also on sale. I kind of forgot to take a picture of it before I took the packaging off, but it was $2.49. And this is going to be continued to part three, you guys. So I know this video is getting long. So I will let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I thank you guys so much for watching. And roll on down to my newest videos by hitting subscribe.